Remember towards the end of the last video I put out, I said this. So we are definitely on track to break 700 hours by the end of the year. I think honestly, we may get to close to like 730 to 750 hours, 750 hours by the end of the year. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name's Mark. Welcome back to 2,000 Hours of Banjo. And we hit a bit of a speed bump. I injured my finger. So the prospect of hitting 750 hours in this by the end of this year mm, is, is dwindling. I don't think I'm gonna hit uh, 750. I still think I will break 700, which is good. I may even get up to 730, we will see. But for now, I need to take a break from my banjo and let my finger heal. Okay, so what the heck happened this time? This is my third injury with uh, playing the banjo or while I've been taking up banjo. The first injury was to the index finger on my left hand, my fretting hand that I developed by improper posture or hand ergonomics of my left hand that uh, ended up straining the tendons or ligaments or something in the in the knuckle or the joints of my index finger and that took me out for about three months the other one that i did was my shoulder i developed frozen shoulder syndrome at least a mild case of it thankfully a mild case of it um last last year almost about this time last year when i was putting up the uh, the screws to hold the christmas lights around the perimeter of the house and i woke up the next day and i could barely move my left arm Frozen shoulder, <laughs> to completely heal it takes about two years. I didn't really let it impact my playing, however, because A, I wasn't about to take a two year break, and B, even though it hurt to play, even though it hurt to hold my arm out like this, it, would, it hurt regardless. And it, it didn't hurt anymore by playing. So I played through the pain with that one, kind of knowing that it wasn't making the injury worse um, and it would just have to take time to recover. And it is, it, it feels pretty good right now. Um, I, I, I'm still probably a few months out before it's fully recovered, maybe even another year before it's fully recovered, but it's definitely better and it doesn't really hurt when I play banjo anymore. This guy, honestly, I have no idea how I injured this guy. Now, it hurts like the Dickens when I try to pick with my right hand, or I should say it did, and I'm a little bit more on that later. But I don't think I injured it by playing banjo. Um, with the left index finger, I could feel this index finger gradually getting worse and worse and worse. And I really didn't do anything. I certainly didn't take a break and let it rest. I tried to play through the pain, which was a mistake. And I could feel it getting worse and worse until the point that I couldn't play. The point that it hurt so much that I, I really, and it was so stiff, I couldn't bend the finger past about an, a 90 degree. I had to force the finger down to do my initial stretches for, for the first month or so of rehabilitating the finger. With this guy, this guy kind of injured overnight, it seems like. It just seemed like one day I was fine and the next day it was injured. Now, what happened, or what I, I'm gonna take this off right now. Whoops, Ugh, come back here. Uh, it, it, it was this last joint on the finger where if I bent it, I got a shooting pain going down the back of the finger and down the front of the finger. And obviously when you're picking, you're, you're bending at that joint quite a bit. So it was, it was quite painful. However, I don't think I injured this necessarily playing banjo because it didn't come on gradually. It came on very, very suddenly. And also came on during a weekend when my brother was up visiting and we were doing quite a bit of motorcycle maintenance. We were doing a lot of motorcycle maintenance. In fact, um, that weekend and the weekend before, I probably changed four, I guess technically five, uh, tires using hand tools, uh, motorcycle tires on uh, using hand tools. I say five, it was two bikes, but on one of the bikes, I thought there was a leak in the inner tube, so I had to unmount the tire, pull the inner tube out, check the inner tube, put in a fresh inner tube, and then remount the, the tire 
on that, that wheel. So about five tires in the span of a week. And I think that just overdid my fingers. Now, if you've ever changed a motorcycle tire, especially a tubed motorcycle tire, you know that you need to jam your fingers to push that inner tube into the well of the tire. You need to then jam your fingers further in to feed the stem of the inner tube through the stem hole on the wheel and fish that, that valve through the, uh, through the hole in the wheel. And it, it is quite abusive on your fingers. You end up tearing up all your cuticles and you tear up your hands pretty good. Um, I don't have the technique down. I have it down pretty good, but not to the point where it doesn't make my fingers quite sore after doing a few of them. And I think maybe that might have done it. Uh, I might have twisted or jammed the finger in the attempt to get uh, those tires mounted. That's the, only, that's the only motorcycle maintenance that I can think of that is very abusive to my fingers. Um, it's not that I don't. Actually, I accidentally stabbed, uh, which finger was it? I stabbed this finger with uh, this one with a screwdriver uh, and, and drew blood. But <laughs> as I always say, if you're not bleeding, you're not working on your motorcycle. That's how it just works sometimes. Anyway, so this time around, I, I automatically felt the pain and stopped playing. I, I did quite the opposite of when my index finger on this hand got injured, where in this hand, I tried to play through it. It got worse and worse. And finally, I was forced to give up and take a rest for three months. With this hand, it started to hurt. I'm taking a break. Took a break. I'm taking two weeks off. The first week off showed major improvement. The second week, I, I almost precautionary. It doesn't hurt. In fact, I was wearing this brace kind of as a prop. I don't really need it. I'm not really wearing it. And to be honest, I'm not even sure how helpful this little brace is because when I wear it, especially overnight, when I wake up in the morning, the finger is very, very stiff, um, a lot stiffer than if I, if I don't wear it overnight. So I'm not exactly sure if this was helpful or not. The other things that I think were definitely helpful was again, I brought out the, uh, the finger chill pack. You throw this in the freezer and then you slip it over the injured finger and it gives you a 360 degree cooling of the finger and all the joints that it covers and it's very good. You can buy these and I think they're three packs and if I find the link uh, to, Am I think I got them on Amazon. I'll put it in the, in the description below. The other thing was, my warming mitt that you just microwave, I think it's full with buckwheat or something like that. Throw it in the microwave for about two minutes, put your hand in there and it gives you nice warm heat uh, for gosh, like 20 minutes almost. And it's, it's nice and soothing. And then lastly, of course, a big bottle of Aleve helps with the inflammation or ibuprofen, uh, whatever. Advil, whatever is your preference. And then there was the stretching. I took time just to manually bend the finger a little bit, work the stretching out, uh, work the finger out, make it limber. Like I'm doing this right now and it doesn't hurt. Uh, previously last week I would be doing this and I would get shooting pains going down my finger. So it feels quite good. And I'm quite confident that at the end of this week, I'll be able to start practice again. I'll start gently with about half hour practice. And if that is fine, I will build up to an hour, hour and a half, and then I'll start jumping back into the two hour practices that I was predominantly doing before I got the injury. But due to this, yes, I don't think I'll be hitting that 750 hours by the end of the year. It's not looking good for that. But my spirits are up. I remember when I injured this finger, I was, very upset. I was very stressed. I was very concerned that that was the end of my banjo career. This time around, because of the experience with the injury to this hand, to that finger anyway, um, I feel more confident, more comfortable, more relaxed, and less worried for many reasons. A, this injury was not as severe as the previous injury, so I recovered from the previous injury. I feel confident I'll recover from this injury and it looks it's already looking that way. Second, I took a three month break to let this finger heal and it took me mm, approximately a month to get back into the groove of things with my banjo. Really no harm no, done there. With this one, two weeks, we'll see if I need to go three weeks and I'll be right back in. I'll be able to jump in 
no problem. I'm not too concerned and I'm not really considering this much of a setback. And to be honest, I'm not even really considering that original three months that I took off for this hand a setback either. Part of the banjo learning process is learning how to fit the banjo into your life, or at least in my opinion it is. That is, how do you structure your practices? Where do you find time? How to deal with injuries. Injuries are going to happen. My instructor has told me numerous times He's had many injuries throughout his career. Any professional instrumentalist or musician is going to tell you that, yes, you will get injuries. And knowing how to deal with them, knowing how to recover from them, and not being defeated by taking the time off, by knowing that you'll, you'll be able to bounce back is very critical, and it's all part of this process. So yes, taking some time off sucks. It's gonna take, some time off of my hour account, but I consider it not a setback. I consider it part of the process. I will have another injury in the future, and with every time I have an injury, I'm learning how to deal with it a little bit better. Anyway, I don't have any practice to do to get back to. I have some recuperation for my finger to get back to. Hopefully by the time I see you next time, I'll be back picking happily, so I will see you then. All right, bye.